So one thing I want to show you is I want to show you what a really good looking zoysia lawn looks like when it's dormant. That's what I expect my zoysia and my Bermuda to look like. However, I'm getting ready to go back home and I have a poana problem. A little bit later in this video, I'll talk about why poana is a problem and can break through pre-emergent barriers. I'm going to talk about that, so hold on. Morning. Today we're going to talk about pre-emergence and this is a really important video to watch. Now I've done some pre-emergent videos before, but this one I'm gonna show you kind of an experiment to help you understand how these pre-emergents work. We'll talk about when you apply them and why I think it's probably one of the top two things you need to do in your lawn care. It's really important. It's coming up on our lawn schedule, so hold on. Hey guys, so this backyard that we have down at the beach house we planted perennial rye we're actually pretty warm today it's going to be 60 60 something degrees out here and this is great winter weather for perennial rye but i did something intentionally i don't know if you follow my channel i had a bunch of pea spots on the lawn and i reseeded those pea spots well just a couple weeks later i came back out and i applied pre-emergent what happens when you do that pre-emergent in my last video I put it up on the website and I t showed you that, or I told you that, pre-emergent doesn't stop seed germination. What pre-emergent does is it stops new cell growth. So it stops the roots from growing and it kills the roots. And guess what? In this video, I'm gonna show you a little bit later what happened to the lawn, what happened to the pea spots, and then I'll repair them. But I wanna make sure one thing, we've got the free lawn care guides up. Go to freelawncareguide.com. That is the site for cool season grasses. And then there's a link for our older Bermuda lawn care guide and the Zoysia lawn care guide. And there are calendars and everything is up there. It's free. There's no app to download. Uh, there's no email sign up. Just use them, bookmark them and go back and use them. So make sure you do that. So anyways, today what I'll do is I'll show you my little experiment and you'll better understand how pre-emergence work. So let's go. All right, so part of this experiment is to teach you guys if you have new sod or new seed that doesn't have established root systems that pre-emergent can hurt or kill that grass that's why the rule of thumb is no pre-emergent for the first year on new sod and new seed that's the rule of thumb however if, as you can see behind me i planted that uh, perennial rye and it was established for about six to eight weeks before i put down my pre-emergent which means that the root system had already grown to about two and a half inches deep. So that wasn't hurt. It's only the new seeds that germinated where that were still, the roots were only about a half an inch deep. Those are the ones that got hurt by the pre-emergent. So important note, if you have new sod, if you're putting down new seed, you have to wait until those roots fully established, which is typically one growing season before you put down pre-emergent. Perennial rye, this stuff grew like crazy. And again, it was about six to eight weeks before um, I put down pre-emergent on it, so it's fine. But that is the rule. Understand that. In the lawn guides, we cover that specifically, so make sure you get the lawn guide. Okay, so someone I know is gonna ask, Doc, your zoysia lawn is not over a year old, so why did you apply, or how could you apply pre-emergent to that lawn? So let me explain that, which I covered in that pre-emergent video hold on okay so why could I apply pre-emergent to that zoysia grass out there and the reason is is we planted it this uh, early summer and it just took off <laughs> I mean it was completely established it had all summer to grow and into the fall matter of fact it just went dormant probably probably about six or eight weeks ago it just went dormant and I talk about in that previous video we talk about that window where you have a not a full year, but you have an established lawn and then it goes dormant. And if you hit it during the peak dormant season, you can put out a little bit of pre-emergent because it's not actively growing and it already has roots that are established. The roots out there are probably a good five or six inches deep. That's why I could put it out there. So let me tell you real quickly what I'm using. So doc, what are you using for your pre-emergence? Uh, bug, <laughs> it's warm enough for a bug to be out here. What I'm using is, is I link to everything on the lawn guides. So if you go to the free lawn care guide, you'll see the cool season, warm season, uh, Bermuda, Zoysia, and we actually link to the products that we recommend. 
but we do a split treatment. I like to come out a little bit earlier than most people do. I mean, pre-emergence will last a good four to six weeks easy. So why not come out a week or two early just to be safe? And then after that, a few weeks after that, if we're starting to have any weed problems or see any weeds, especially crabgrass, we'll come out with a, a pre-emergent that also has a post-emergent or ki weed killing effect to it. So we do that split treatment and we talk about that in the guides. But that's what I like to use on the lawns and that's what we used here. I actually used the liquid form on this lawn and uh, it just worked fantastic. This main lawn, I came back and I reseeded the pea spots in the lawn. Remember that? They came up, they germinated, uh, they started up great. And then what did I do? I intentionally came back with my pre-emergent and put pre-emergent down here, knowing that it would probably do what it's done. And so I want to show you. Remember, a lot of people think pre-emergent stops seeds from germinating. That's not what it does. It stops new cell growth. So when the roots start to grow, it touches that pre-emergent barrier and they stop and the plant dies. So let me show you, this is pretty incredible. I don't know if I can find a clip of when this germinated, but I want you to see these pea spots. Now the, every single one of these pea spots <laughs> was actually germinating and doing great. And you'll see dead grass on the side of it. So you see right here, look at that. All the grass is pretty much dead starting to rot a little bit. Why is that? That's because on all these pea spots, it got treated with pre-emergent as well too. But I had weeds back here and I said, you know what? This will be a great test of pre-emergent. And this is why we don't put pre-emergent on new lawns and new sod until it's as fully established. When I get home, let me put up a picture. My son sent me a picture and he said, dude, we got a lot of this growing in the yard. It's Poana and why? Because Several months ago, I treated with pre-emergent. That pre-emergent has worked down on the ground. New poana seed has come in and is germinating. Well, poana roots are real shallow. They're only like an inch. So poana can survive even though you've put out pre-emergent sometimes. So I'll go home and I'll kill, a, I'll kill the uh, pre-emergent. I mean, I'll kill the poana. So today, I'm gonna blow all these stupid leaves from these water oaks. Uh, I gotta cut the grass. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig out each one of these holes and I'm going to put in some soil, some fresh soil, and reseed because it's still warm enough for it to germinate. That's all I'm doing. I'm actually starting to sweat out here. You know what really hurts is my back because I'm having to do all this by hand. So that's all done. Dug out about two inches deep, put down some soil, put down some seed, covered the seed, tapped it down. So at least when the seed germinates now, it's gonna germinate and it's gonna germinate into fresh soil. And more than likely, that pre-emergent isn't two inches down. We'll see. Uh, but hopefully, when we come back in the spring, we'll have some decent grass in here. 
and uh, not just bare pea spots. Okay, so, ooh, it's windy out here. So, remember, we are entering into the new spring season here soon. Pre-immersion, I can't stress it. If there's only two things that I could put on my lawn, I would say, what is it, Doc? I would put down pre-immersion and PGF complete. Those are the two things I would put down and then walk away and I'm pretty much done. If you just did that, applied pre-emergent on a, a good pre-emergent, do it correctly, and then put down PGF complete, you could pretty much have a great lawn. Now, we do things like we do the jumpstart program. My lawn is beautiful and green before anyone else's because I do the jumpstart program. So learn about the jumpstart program, why we do that and what we're using. Most people will use a uh, PGF balanced, which is the all fast release 10, 10, 10, put a little bit of nutrients in the soil so that when your grass wakes up, it's gonna wake up and it's gonna have nutrients and it doesn't have to wait on slow release fertilizers. The other thing is uh, we may be incorporating Green Shocker. Green Shocker is new, it was released this past year and that's really all we've been using back here on this perennial rye. Now the Green Shocker is, is super, super fine particles. It's an all fast release, it's extremely mild, you can use it all year. You can actually, cool season guys, you cool season guys can actually fertilize your lawn in the summertime with green chakra. But the green chakra, let me grab a little handful of it, is the particles are like salt. And it goes on the lawn and it instantly goes in, has a, a 712 ratio, has, nitri uh, has uh, iron inside of it, it's a fantastic product. We'll be using some of that on our Jumpstart program too, because we want to just gently just push our lawn. We're going to spoon feed in the beginning before we start to really pump down the slow release base fertilizers. So understand the Jumpstart program and what we're doing this year and make sure you get down a real good coat of pre-emergent. I can't stress that enough. And again, don't worry, things like Poana, birds, Human traffic, lawn equipment, all that stuff can bring in poana seeds and poana can, it's not breaking through the barrier. What it's doing is it's actually growing in that, just that upper inch where your pre-emergent has worked down in. So don't freak out about it. When I get back home, hit that subscribe button because when I go back home, I'm gonna show you my backyard. And my backyard has a lot of poana that, that is growing out there because it was months ago when I put down my pre-emergent. So I'll kill the poana, I'll kill any weeds, I'll put, do those videos for you, we'll put down our spring pre-emergent, and I'll show you the jumpstart program when we get back home. And that's really important. If you want an early green lawn, we'll be doing that. Well, this year we'll also be doing some verticutting on the lawn to thin out my established Bermuda lawn. Once we get that lawn going, then we're gonna come back down here and we're gonna focus on the cool season grass, we're gonna focus on some zoysia, we're gonna be doing a bunch of different stuff. You don't wanna miss it. Anyways, hope it helped. Talk to you later. Duh.